look what we got here. We got the new Tower Hobby re-release of the Sea Wind. Uh, this is a 1.4 meter. And I got this plane, I seen a little video of it, and I said, that's something unique. It's an amphibious plane. Uh, you know, it can take off off of land, off of water. It has retracts, uh, which is nice as also if you had it and it was going down a boat launch, you go down with the wheels down, gets into the water, and then you pull up the retracts and take right back off. So this is pretty exciting. So I have it already unboxed here. A uh, closer up look of it. And we'll start off with the obviously the body, you know, very nice detail. These will be for the retracts that are going to go up inside the wing. You know, really nice. Looks good. And we got our wings here. You know, we have these little fins off to the side. We have our ailerons and then we have our flaps. And this is where the wheels will go up inside the, the wing. Carbon fiber spar over here. We got our rear elevator, our tail, our prop, our seats, little bag of goodies, our uh, <coughs> Nose cone, okay, for our prop. Uh, it comes with a water bottle. I guess to suck out water if there's a necessary need for that. Because it is waterproof. And these are the retractable wheels right here. <laughs> Hold that there. And get this to lock in. One second, just bear with me. Okay, there we go. All right. And down inside, of course, we have our wires for all of our control surfaces here. It runs on an IC3, EC3 uh, battery, battery tray down there. Got some nice uh, servos. Okay, so overall it's looking really good. I like that, you know, nice easy access into that. There is our engine, which goes on top. I've never had a plane that had something like this on top. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. And now what we're going to do is the next step in this video is we're going to uh, build it. All right, guys, what I want to do is install the wheel right here. Take two screws, put them down in there. And while that's in screwed in there, we then put this piece right there and screw this in to that end. And that will have the wheel gear installed. I got the wheels on. I did, uh, hopefully you can see that, put the screws in. Next, we're gonna put on the rear elevator and it gets screwed in from the bottom. But when we put the uh, put this through the, uh, the linkage right here, they don't want you to tighten it down, just put it in there for now, okay? And there is the hole also that it's gonna go through. What screw we use? We only have two, we have a bigger one and we have a smaller one we use the last bigger one. to turn the uh, plane upside down so I could get a better grip on it. So I put the screw through. You got to push from the bottom to the top where it, it adapts and you just push it down. And you don't want any uh, give on this at all. So you want to get it down pretty tight. And I'm just going to push the push rod through this set screw of the elevator. All right, so I got the screw in there. I had to push down in here and from the bottom of the elevator and then tighten it in. And then I put this uh, push rod into that set screw. So next I'll put on the uh, the tail. So all this is, it just gets pushed in to that slot right there. And we will do that, push it in, and that's it. So that's the, uh, uh, the rear elevator and tail assembly and next is we'll put on the wings i already put the other wing on over here and i'm going to show you how i did it okay what i did is i took the carbon fiber rod i slid through the hole all the way to the other side and now what i want to do is take the wing we're going to feed the uh servo uh plugs right through that hole there that first one there and we're going to take this uh, is the uh, flap control rod and that's going to go into there right there and then we're going to slide it in and 
then we're going to tighten up. But before we do that, what I want to do is I unloosened this little nut right here because this turns this way. All right, so what I'm doing is if I had four hands, it would be a lot better. <laughs> I'm going to feed those in. I'm pushing it in. Okay, up like that. Okay, so now the wing is in. And now you have to tighten up that screw right there. I'm checking it out and it's pretty tight. That right there is straight and nice. And it's the same on the other side. Okay. Now it's time for uh, radio transmitter setup. And we're going to first start off by creating a new model. And we'll go down to system setup, hit yes. And we'll go model select. And then we go over here to add new model. <clears throat> we're gonna create. Now what we wanna do is I'm gonna do a model name. Scroll around here and I'll fast forward through this. Then we're gonna clear back out of that. Over to aircraft type. And this is a one aileron, one flat. Tail is normal. Next, you're gonna select an image, standard image, and we're gonna look for something that looks like a seaplane. I'm probably just gonna use the uh, twin otter. Click out of there, go back. Next, we're going to do is flight mode. And we're gonna put on, click on flight mode. And I'm gonna click on that. And what I want is my gear is gonna be on A. I'm gonna put my flight modes on B and my flaps are gonna be on C, okay, for this plane. So what I wanna do is I wanna inhibit a switch and now that's B and then I'm gonna click out of there and I wanna call it spoken flight modes. What do I wanna call it? When I have the uh, switch all the way forward, I want it to be off. B is gonna be uh, over here, center switch is gonna be AS3X and then safe. As safe, I always point towards, towards me because I feel safe when it's closer to me. So first is going to be off. Now we're gonna click this and we're gonna name it. And I'm basically going to name flight mode one off. And I'm hit back and speak flight mode. What I want to look for is off. And there it is, off. Okay, this is going to back off. Go back to flight mode. Now we got, and we're going to click that up. We are going to go back out there and put that as AS3X. And we're going to type that as AS3X. And back out of there. And what do I want to speak? There is AX3X mode. Back to flight mode. Back out of there. Spoken flight mode. Safety on. And we get that back out of there. And I'm going back to the main screen. Okay, so I'm going to do is I'm going to test out the uh, mode switch uh, sounds. Off means that you, you can fly as free as you want. Then we go to AS3X mode. AS3X mode. Safety switch on. AS3X mode. Off. Yep, yeah, see? Okay. Next is Dual Rates and Expo. And I'm going to just show you what I do normally. And you can look on my, some of my other videos with the transmitter setup. And what I did here was that ailerons on high. And I assigned it to F switch because that's where I like my uh, rates. Expo is 10. Mid is 85 and 8 and 70 and 7 on ailerons here on low again okay i did that the same for aileron rudder and elevator okay so i have to show you that same settings next is uh flaps and i'm going to come down to flap system and I got to inhibit a switch and I'm going to assign a switch and my switch is going to be on C switch. Then what I want to do is click on that and flap position up here is going to be negative 100%. That means the flaps are going to be up. Position two right there. 
and I want to make that on the elevator down here and I make that 100% scroll that up okay and then I want to come over here elevator and I want to make it okay and that's going to be my flaps they're my flaps position. You'll see that when we sit there and get it all bound up. And I have a speed of two seconds. Okay, from the front screen, what we're gonna do is set the uh, throttle cut up. A throttle cut is gonna be set on H switch, okay? I'm gonna do throttle cut. Yeah, switch. Now we have it on H switch, and then we have timer, okay? Timer is uh, five minutes, and what we want to do is we don't want a every timer event alerts, every minute timer, okay? One minute, we don't want nothing. We're going to sit there and scroll over to inhibit, 30 seconds inhibit, 20 seconds Inhibit 10 seconds. We're going to do a countdown. I like voice Expiration I like voice and we just sit there and back out of that. Okay What we're gonna do is plug in all the plugs for the sea wind into the AR 630 Throttle is one Aileron is two, elevator is three, rudder, gear, flaps, auxiliary, auxiliary. That's on the AR630 Spectrum receiver. All the plugs are now installed. Here's our next step here is I got all the wires bundled up back in there. I mounted my AR630 receiver right there onto that uh, plate. So we're going to plug in ourselves a uh, 30C2200 MAH and then we will do the bind. The battery plugged in. I am going to push the bind button. I have my AR630 mounted right there and I'm going to plug uh, push that. Now it starts flashing as you see. Going to come over to our radio transmitter. I am going to hold in the bind button like that, and I'm going to turn on the transmitter. Binding DSMX 22 milliseconds telemetry bind complete. And take off my finger. And now the plane is bound. Okay. You get any wags or anything much whatsoever because I don't have a uh, safe or AS3X set on it or anything. But I can show you that uh, the control surfaces are working. I did attach the flaps up into that servo up there. Let's check this out. Gear up. Okay. The gear is up. Gear down. The gear is down. Ailerons. Right, left. Okay, that's going there. That works. We'll check out the flaps. Take off flaps. Flaps are going down. Landing flaps. And flaps Flap back up. up. Looks good. Check out the elevator. That's working in the right direction. Up and down. And we will check out the rudder. And that is working. And the gear is working up there. Now, watch this. I'm going to put the gear up. And over here is the rudder for the uh, for when it's in the water. Okay, gear up. Gear up. And look at that. See, comes down gear and up. goes up. All right, looking good, looking sharp. All right, we'll test the throttle. And of course, I don't have the uh, prop on, so that's working. So all the surfaces are working on the plane. Here we want to do is take the prop right here and 
push it back on the push rod right there. And I take this screw, uh, this washer, and it's kind of leveled that way, towards that way. And you want to take it in and put it on that way. Take your screw, and it's a 10 millimeter. You're going to tighten up that prop and make sure it's nice and snug. And then we're going to put on the, uh, the nose cone onto the plane. Take our uh, Phillips, tighten it down. There's our nose cone, it's on there. And we'll test out throttle. Here we go. All right, throttle cut is back on. I forgot to sit there and show you. Uh, we got some uh, seats here, you know, and they go in the plane. It's a really cool uh, interior. So you got your front and you got your back seats. And you got a very nice uh, uh, instrument panel right there with some yokes. Nice, nice wing lights. A little strobe there. And we got a nice strobe over here. And I'll tell you something right now, we're gonna get this out and we're gonna mate in it. On water. And I'm gonna show you some nice videos. So, there it is, the Sea Wing. Beautiful, beautiful, 1.4 meter. Got it from Tower Hobby. Links will be down in the description. And if you wanna get one, it's a very unique plane. Give me a like and a subscribe, and I certainly would appreciate it because so this is Joe at Drone Man Joe RC. Check out everything. I have lots of videos, build videos, instructional videos, everything whatsoever. If you're interested, let me know. So until next time, salute. Drone Man Joe RC out. See ya. Out.